What's up, everybody? Welcome to the recap of our Friday Night Breaks Part 2. Uh, last night, we broke a box of Contenders Optic 2019 football, 2019 Contenders football, um, and 2020 Panini Black. The 2020, uh, the 2019 Contenders football was actually a, a personal break for cards are. It did not end well. <laughs> um, this was all on Instagram Live. If you guys check out our Instagram handle at Cardsar, then which is right here, then uh, you can check out that whole break, see how it went. Um, you know, you take the good with the bad, and unfortunately, there was a lot of bad with the uh, the personal break that we did for Cardsar.com. But um, yeah, we had some decent cards. Uh, again, you can see the whole break over on Cardsar uh, on Instagram. And uh, hopefully this Friday we'll be breaking two boxes of 2020 Contenders Football. So check out www.cardsar.com uh, for more information on that. The price for the breaks, you'll be able to buy into a ticket. Goal is to ship uh, to, to break random teams. So 32 spots, you'll get a random team. Any points will be randomized, any hitless spots. So um, we will see how it goes. Hopefully we can fill that for next Friday. Um, and hopefully we get the cards in. I know that uh, the, the release date did get pushed back a couple of days. But we've also, we've already started to see some 2020 retail released into the wild for contenders that we will take a look at real quick after I just review the break. So um, 2020 Black was okay, good, not great. Uh, the big hit, the RPA, was a KJ Hamler. Number to 199. Did not have the best corners, unfortunately, which is par for the course for um, the RPAs. But nice three-color patch. And then you have the silver ink, which pops on the um, – in this case, it pops. I've seen it where it doesn't look great on the black, but this one looks really good. Uh, KJ Hamler, a good young player for the Broncos. Brandon Ayuk, base card. Um, again, a solid little card. He was great in fantasy this year. One Debo, Debo Samuel is out. Uh Former first round pick or the 2020 first round pick. He has a lot of potential in uh, San Francisco. Jake Lutton autograph. We talked about him. He got a chance to start a game uh, for the Jaguars. Didn't work out very well, but, you know, quarterback auto, good card to hold on to just in case. And then we got AJ Green, number 25. Uh, so there are five cards in this box. Unfortunately, I already dropped off uh, the Jordan Love patch that we hit, number 50, which is probably the best card in the box, um, to Matt over at Anderson Cards and Sports Memorabilia in Manchester. Dropped that off this morning. I'll show you guys some other stuff that I got uh, while I drop those off. Uh, and Contenders Optic, Big Craig hit this Tom Brady Contenders base card. Uh, I... This is actually now mine. I traded for it. He's a big Giants fan. He knows I'm a Brady collector. I actually already have this one, so we're going to add it to the inventory on the website. But I traded him, um, you know, in his favor because I know he's a Giants fan. And this is just a base card. You know, good set, though. Uh, probably, I looked it up, probably about a $10 card. So this will be available on, on cardsar.com for $10. Uh, Russell Wilson, MVP Contenders Blue, number to 99. We also got a Larry Fitzgerald Red, number to 199. That I dropped off at Matt's. Uh, John Ursua, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, a nobody again. But, again, you get take the go with the bad. Uh, this was not a great box. After it, a Kyler Murray contenders uh, rookie. This was not a great, great box. And then we got a Todd Gurley base card. And then finally, this card looks good. Benny Snell Jr., not bad. Blue number to 75. Somebody pointed out it's a Kentucky Blue. He's a Kentucky alum. But unfortunately, right here, there's a nice scratch from Panini. Um, bummer that it came this way. But, again, it kind of it's kind of comes with the territory. So, uh, those were the, the breaks. Um, and then <laughs> we can talk about the rip that we did for us. So, again, there's between a rip and a break. A rip is more, I'm opening cards just to open cards. For the video, for YouTube, whatever. A break is meant more for customers. We're breaking up the box for our customers. So um, <clears throat> we ended up ripping the box of 2019 contenders. I should have known that once we hit a Kyler Murray on the first box in the break last week that uh, we probably weren't going to hit anything big. And uh, whew, I should have... <laughs> I should just held on to this. So um, the numbered card that we got, Riley Ridley, number to 49, Rookie of the Year contenders. Uh, just some inserts, Gardner Minshew, Daniel Jones, Rookie of the Year contenders, Miles Sanders, 
Dwayne Haskins. And you get MVP contenders, Deshaun Watson, Zeke Elliott, Russell Wilson, Khalil Mack, Big Ben. Legendary contenders, Peanut Tillman, Jack Lambert. Then round numbers, Chase Vinovich and Damian Harris for the Patriots. Nikhil Harry and Marquise Brown. And then you got um, Trace McSorley and Gardner Minshew. So now we get into the hits. Five autos. One card's on card. You know, usually it's it's a stud is your on card auto. Our, our on card auto was was Gary Jennings Jr. <laughs> uh, not a stud, unfortunately. Uh, not the Seahawks wide receiver that we wanted. We wanted DK. We got Gary Jennings Jr. Duck Hodges might be the most popular card because he has a little bit of a cult following in Pittsburgh. He started a few games for him. Uh, wasn't great, but people love him. Maybe this sells. I'm not sure. Uh, ben Burr Curvin, which. I threw this card because this was the last pack, the last hit, the worst hit. It was just a bad, bad box. Alize Mac. I don't know if it's pronounced Alize, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. And then Karen Higdon. So uh, I claim that this was the worst box I've ever opened up, and I will stick to that because this is the worst box I've ever opened up. You win some, you lose some. That's the nature of the game. Um, these will be available for dirt cheap on cardsr.com as well as the base cards. Um, now let's take a look at, so a sneak peek at 2020 contenders. So this is the, the card design for 2020 um, compared to 2019. Obviously the section is the weight. So you can see right here, section 280 for the 2019 Edelman 198. Uh, 11 is his number, so seat 99, seat 11, and then row 61, row 510, 61, 6 foot 1 inch, and then uh, 510, 5 foot 10 inches. The different thing is it took me forever to figure out what game 29 meant. That is his age. So the age down here is the game number, whatever. Just something different, something unique. So I've ripped uh, four blasters of... 2020 contenders. Uh, these are what the base cards will look like. Not terrible. Kind of cool. There's a lot going on. I'll, I'll say that. Um, a lot going on here. But once you kind of know what you're looking for, what the numbers mean, um, things kind of make more sense. So contenders obviously every year tries to look like a ticket, which is unique, Tom Brady. So game 43, <laughs> 43 years old. That's what, that's what made me figure it out. Um, you know, a, a nice looking base card. Um, when you're buying contenders, you're trying to buy the autos. That's just how it rolls. Uh, I believe there will be five autos again in each box, which will make for a, a decent rip. I think, you know, I think we'll be able to do random teams, um, with five autos. We'll, if you guys want the base cards, we'll certainly ship the base cards. If you don't want the base cards, we won't ship the base cards. So cards are.com. Top of the homepage, you'll see rips and breaks. Sign up there, uh, Mahomes. The uh, listing should be up probably by Sunday at the latest, I'd say. And again, hopefully we're going to be ripping Friday night on Instagram Live. Follow us at Cardsar. We'll have some fun, crack a few beers, crack a few jokes. Uh, so when I was at, um, oh, and let's take a look at the inserts too. The inserts are a little bit different this year than they were last year. So round numbers. This is 2019. This is 2020. Um, you know, a little bit of the same idea, though they're using the same picture twice, which is kind of annoying. Instead of the uh, the shadow being the team, it's the picture that they used. So not too bad. We got Justin Jefferson. That's a nice one. Justin Jefferson and Jeff Gladney. <clears throat> I have two of these now. Uh, legendary contenders look like this for 2020 and look like this for 2019. So um, same idea, slightly different. Again, they actually use two pictures here, which is nice. I don't know why Panini uses one picture all the time. Uh, now the Rookie of the Year contenders is way different, way different this year, um, which I actually I, – it took me a second to get used to, but I do like what they're doing now, the multicolor here. Um, so this is 2020 Chase Claypool, 2019 Miles Sanders. This is a cool, you know, spray paint, 
tie-dye type thing. You know, just more color, make it more appealing. And then the MVP contenders are actually a lot like, um, not like last year, but they're a lot like a few years ago. So 2019 here, 2020. Not too shabby. Um, what they did bring this year to retail, which I really like, and I, I hit one today, which I was pumped about, and um, Matt hit one a few days ago. And at first, we were confused. We didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, it just looked like a bad a, bra a bad printed card. Um, but we realized what was going on. Oh, I did some digging, went on a, went on Google, and found that this is a Stardust parallel. So you can see right there the, the shimmer. This is retail exclusive. It's got a gold foil as opposed to a silver foil. Um, I don't know what the print run is on these. Um, I mean, I bought four blasters and I've, I've only hit one. Just a cool looking card though. But again, I thought it would just like the, the waterproofing got messed up um, when Matt showed me. He had a Baker Mayfield and when, when I saw his Baker, I was like, yeah, that doesn't look too good. So, but no, I think this is just a cool looking card. Nice looking insert. Uh, again, I don't know what the print run is. I don't know if it's an SSP. If it's just like, you know, one every few hobby boxes, I'm sure more will come on to uh, eBay, come on to websites like cardsar.com. In the blasters, you got one auto or one um, relic card. And this one, Raekwon Davis for the Dolphins. He was, I don't know if he was a first round pick, but um, he went to Alabama. So that's always good. That's always good. Probably a good player if he went to Alabama. And then I was pumped. At first, I thought this was just a memorabilia card, but it's actually a uh, patch of auto from Devin Duvernay. At first, I saw the back. I was like, oh, that's it. But then uh, take a look at it. I'm not sure what this V means. I got to look that up. But, um, yeah, this is nice. I mean, that's that's a good hit. That's a good hit. I have a $35 box. That's not too bad. I have some uh, from the other box I ripped. I have some inserts, I believe, or I have some memorabilia cards somewhere here. But it's the rookie ticket that we've seen in the past. Nothing crazy, but cool. It's a really cool looking card. Duvernay has some potential in Baltimore. They don't have a ton of wide receivers ahead of him. 106 catches at, at Texas. That's pretty damn good. Third round pick. Uh, he's got some potential. I think that in the Dynasty League, I'm certainly going to be trying to get him for cheap. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go after him both in the hobby and Dynasty. But um, let's finish it off. A few cards I picked up. So I also ripped um, some Prism. But I picked this up from Matt. Chase Claypool on Colorado. I've been looking at this card for a while. Claypool has dropped significantly, unfortunately. But uh, nice nice on-card auto from Origins is Redemption. Edward Tiller, Silver Prism. So this will be on the website. Edward Tiller, uh Variation. We have a Brandon Ayuk as well variation. So it's a black and white photo variation. Cam Akers, orange. Um, I don't. This isn't the disc. I for, this is the no huddle. I don't know if there's no huddle actually. I, I, it's the orange disco, orange no huddle. There's a million names for this stuff, so I can't keep it all straight. We actually, if you go to cardsr.com and we have a breakdown of the set itself, you can kind of get a better understanding of what's what. CD Lamb, Prism Rookie, Jordan Love, Prism Rookie, which I want to get this graded and hold on to probably just because you know so much upside. And then um, let's finish it off with some parallels we picked up. Ripped a blaster as well. Shaq Thompson Green, Stefan Gilmore, Cracked Red Ice. Sean Jackson, Cracked Red Ice. Isaac Bruce, Cracked Red Ice. And then another Jay Glutton. <laughs> so, so like I said, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, but like I said, check out cardsar.com, breaks and rips. Hopefully we'll have the 2020 Contenders football Two box random team break next week. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the cards you see here, check out cardsar.com or check out our eBay store, username at cardsar, and um, we'll give you a deal. Thanks, guys. Keep on collecting.